if we are at the point now of annexation, what is the purpose then of the Palestinian Authority if it isn't to see Palestinians go from occupation to statehood? So my name is Zaha Hassan. I'm a human rights lawyer and formerly I was a coordinator and senior legal advisor to the Palestinian negotiating team. If we think about it, the Palestinian Authority was a creature of the Oslo peace process. It came into being precisely because of this promise to the Palestinians that they would have a state of their own. But first they needed to prove themselves, prove that they could be security partners with Israel during the course of the negotiations toward a final status agreement. In the past, the Palestinian Authority has worked to repress Palestinians seeking to uh, engage in direct action or in resistance against the occupiers. So if we are at the point now of annexation, and if the two-state solution is now you know, not in the offing, what is the role of the Palestinian Authority? And for many Palestinians, they believe that it doesn't have a purpose at this point, that you know, the Palestine Liberation Organization is the political address for Palestinians everywhere. And that needs to be reinvigorated because the Palestinian Authority had taken over in stature and prominence to the detriment of the Palestinian refugee issue and to the detriment of the rights and claims of Palestinians at large. The Palestinian Authority has already taken measures to cut off security coordination, has already taken measures uh, to refuse to accept the monthly clearance revenue that Israel collects on behalf of the PA. What does this mean? long term for Palestinians on the ground. Is the PA going to allow Palestinians then to actively resist the occupation? What role is the PA going to have moving forward? We, we don't know and I don't know that the PA has figured it out because what we've been hearing is conflicting statements from people within the Palestinian Authority and within the Fatah movement about what the future is for the PA and whether or not you know the PLO needs to now be reformed and reinvigorated to take its place as the representative of all Palestinians.